Try it sometime instead of all this hashed and bashing. You're going to meet yourself coming back one of these times. Somebody's got to do the hash and bashing around here. Oh, there'll be nothing to eat. See, when I was sitting here, my mind went back to when I was a young guy and I went out with Mary Jane. Oh, wait a minute. What are you talking about now? You're going to leave me in the wings for Mary Jane? Oh, would you just listen instead of prattling away 19 to the dozen? I'm all ears. Well, Mary Jane kept this wee book at her bedside. And how do you know it was at her bedside, Brian Gurley? Well, it wasn't like that. Although, I was known as a fine boy, you know. <laughs> oh, I. You know, listen to me. Every night before she fell asleep, she would write in her wee gratitude book all the things she was grateful for. Oh, and I suppose you were top of her list, eh? No. But you know what? I'm all ears. My wee book would have you, Gavin and Sarah, and what we have here, right at the very top. You're a daft romantic sod, so you are. <laughs> but that's why I married you, you daft. <laughs> Watch where you're going, turn up here. Oh, don't start. Why, it might take my brother sensitive Oh, nature. very good. All right, you two, come on. Get your breakfast. So, Sarah. What's on your playing table this morning? Mum, you ask this all the time, and I tell you, you know what? I'm one ear and out the other. Hey, I won't be asking. Did you fill that ACAS form in yet? You know there's a deadline on it, Gavin, isn't that right? Yeah, Mum, she knows the score. Last minute, Annie, as usual. And who are you? Flash Gordon? I'll do it in my own time, so y'all get off my back. I'm sick to death, he's all going on and on about it. Hey, you watch your lip, lady. Oh, well, excuse me while I go have a look in the mirror. Sorry, Dad. Okay, Mum. This morning they have old droopy drawers for a double period of history. Rabbit and on about him past. The fix the future, followed by Bradley and his Pythagoras theory. And I'll go see about the ACAS form. Good. Do I need to go on? Go on, you never stop. <sighs> Shut it, you. All right, enough. Do you think for once I could get to enjoy my breakfast without you two winding each other up? He started it. No, I didn't. I'm not bothered who started it. One's as bad as the other. Times you both can be a pain in the arse. Wearing in front of your children? <sighs> That's bad. I'm going to have to contact Childline. Oh, you're quite right, Sarah. I mean, it's absolutely shocking. <laughs> Childline, here we go. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go and get you the number. <laughs> all right, you all. Come on, some of us have got work to go to. Bye, Mum. Bye, honey. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Ah, you might think you're big, but we socks fit you. Ah, oh, that's our Gavin at it again, eh? He's joking around. Come on, come on, let me play that up. Come on, let me Hey, Lorna. Well, we've got the chance. What do you think of this university course that Gavin's on? English literature? I mean, where's that going to take him, eh? Brian, I'll take our Gavin wherever he needs to go. I mean, hey, what were you like when you were his age? You had dreams of building bridges and waterways and... Aye, and I ended up in the sewerage department. Mind you, it might be a lot of shit to a lot of people, but it's my bread and butter. Although I wouldn't want to make a sandwich with it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> hey, it all turned out best in the end, didn't it? That wasn't the only thing that paid off. Let's not forget that's where I met you. You know what? As well as dealing in shit, you talk a lot of shit. No, 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 no. Don't you demean our great sewage system. That's my line of business, remember? Besides, where would you all be without this superb sewage system that we have? May have started in Rome in 800 BC, but what a system. Oh. Do you know in York there's still a section that was built by the Romans? Oh. And it's still doing its job. Or should I say, still doing its jobbies. Aye, it might be a bit smelly at times, but one flush and it all glides away effortlessly into the celestial sewage system. Well, most of the time anyway. See, that's what I like about you. You're such a romantic, so yeah. Even when you're out and about, you're rolling down that window when you pass the sewage works, just to see if it's still smelling. Like it's not going to smell. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm committed to my jobbies. Oh, and to you. Oh, thanks. I am the Don Juan of sewage, and there's always plenty of fertiliser for any plants that I bring you. 
So, uh, you think our Gavin's gets head screwed on? Aye, more than what his dad has. <laughs> So diagnosed at last, eh? Oh Lorna, how in God's name did this happen? So that's that, love. Still, as I said, at least we both now know what we're dealing with. Brian, maybe we can get a second opinion or speak to another specialist or something else. Look, love, things are as they are. Aye, it's a blow, and I know I'm trying to put a brave face in it, but think of the long time we've had together. I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. I mean, we've had our ups and downs, but we've always managed to muddle through. And our kids, they turned out not bad either, eh? Aye. We've a lot to be thankful for. Some people go through their whole lives and never even get a smattering of the love that we've shared. It's a tough one, Lorna. Don't think I don't know that. But I'll need you to help me through. Can you do that for me? Brian, I mean... I don't want to talk about it right now. Can, can, you, can you talk about it later, maybe? Well, when, love? Time isn't exactly on our side, is it? You heard what the doctor said. There are things we need to sort out. I'm too much of an engineer. I need to get things done and finished with. So can we try, love, to help each other through this? I don't know if I can be as strong as you. I don't want to think about you not being here with me. I, I, I'm not supposed to deal with that. I'm supposed to go with it. You're stronger than you think, sweetheart. Now, come on. Let's think of our happier times. You in labour with Gav, telling that midwife to fuck off. Or that time you had those terrible pains in your stomach that were so bad, we had to go to the emergency department. And when the doctor prodded your stomach, that loud fart you let out. Stop. Oh, what about the time? You tried to help that disabled man into his car <laughs> and you turned around and said, I'm trying to get out of the car. <laughs> See, we have so many memories to share and laugh eh? They can't take these away from us. Now come on. What happened to your belief that nobody dies? We just move on to another level. You were always thinking that. Honey, I still believe that. That's all I ever wanted, Lorna. And the kids too, of course. When this sort of thing happens, you look back in your life, the happy and not so happy. Yeah, I can say I'm grateful for all I've had with Lorna. The way I look at it is, some poor sods don't have any good times to look back on. Aye, we've had our ups and downs. Show me a marriage that doesn't, but through it all, I have never stopped loving her. God, it's hard to face. I don't want to upset her. I need to keep going for the sake of her and the Waynes. I'm not scared of death. It comes to us all. But I do realise I need to make a lot of decisions. The major one being, will I have the operation? More importantly, I need to make sure their finances are okay just in case I decide to go for the operation and it doesn't work out. Christ, I love you all. Lorna and Gavin and Sarah. Oh God, Brian, how am I going to cope without you? You've always been there by my side when all too often I've been running around like a banshee. Sometimes it seems like a tunnel that I find myself in, no light, just complete darkness. Seems like a nightmare I'm having. I keep thinking it'll all go away and we'll be back to normal, that it's happening to somebody else, not us. Pancreatic cancer? Jesus, I knew very little about it. And when the doctor broke the news to me, I couldn't believe what he was saying. I wanted to break down and cry. And then I looked at you. I seen how well you were dealing with it and I said, I've got to put a face on this. 
And it was in that moment that I thought to myself, that's why I married you, Brian Gourley, for your strength and your courage and your ability to face up to things no matter what and not forgetting the love they've always shared for me and the kids. Oh, Brian, please pull through this. I need you. Please stay for me, Gavin and Sarah. I love, I love you, sweetheart. You arrived unannounced with no great fanfare. We were not aware of your entrance. For so long, we were slow to respond. But not you. Oh no, you were eager to destroy. You spread like red wine spilled on a white carpet as you began your silent dance of death. Pirouetting your way through to your position. You were always in the wings. Waiting. Waiting. Like the black swan jumping into the lake of our tears. We were helpless. For how could we be otherwise? How dare you ask my father to be your partner? Yet he had no choice. For you called the tune. Your deathly disguise hid your evil heart. Oh, you led us a merry dance, didn't you? Unknowingly we followed your movements. But our dance will be stronger. Our beat Quicker than yours. We shall expose you until you're broken. Small and disintegrated like a spent cigarette. Kicked, kicked with, with force into, into the, the gutter. When you're diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, you feel like a dead person walking. We must demand an earlier diagnosis and faster treatment. Pancreatic cancer is tough to diagnose, hard to treat and tough to survive. One in four people diagnosed with pancreatic cancer will die within a month. Pancreatic cancer is predicted to become the highest killing cancer by 2030. Survival of pancreatic cancer has not changed. It remains the lowest surviving and quickest killing cancer. Pancreatic cancer, time is not on our side. But let's not forget the vision for pancreatic cancer. This must be the decade of change. Already many have signed up to the Pan Can Clan and so can you. Sign up today. Together we will fight the silent killer. I didn't know a great deal about pancreatic cancer until my husband John died from the silent killer. He had been diagnosed for some time and was suffering from abdominal and back pain. After further investigation, pancreatic cancer was diagnosed and I lost him only after three weeks. Realising the arts can deliver a powerful message, I decided to write a play about my experience to raise further awareness. The play presents us with an ordinary family getting on with life until the pancreatic diagnosis is given. We look at how the family reacts differently and how love and hope see them through the dark tunnel that engulfs them.